Hi, today is Monday, February 20th, 2017, and uh, this is a Sweet Speaks. Uh, there are riots in Rinkeby, uh, a suburb of Stockholm, going on right now. According to a witness, the Swedish police shot a warning shot. Um, Eva Nilsson at the Stockholm police says that uh, one police officer is hurt and is receiving medical care. Apparently, the riot started when uh, the police tried to arrest one person at the metro station. Then the police uh, were met by stones thrown at them. A freelance photographer who is, uh, who is there says that the atmosphere is threatening and that the police have retreated waiting for reinforcements. According to the photographer, Rinkeby looks like a war zone. Uh, what kind of place is Rinkeby? Rinkeby is a suburb of Stockholm. Most of the people living there are non-Western immigrants and their descendants. People who are at war with the Swedish society. Not all of the people living there, of course, but uh, Rinkeby is, as a matter of fact, a no-go zone. It is the place where foreign TV teams were, ha have been chased away by mobs. And these mobs, mind you, were not ethnic Swedes. This is what political correctness in Sweden is leading to. So, President Trump's uh, comments on Sweden? Nothing special happened on Friday night. It's happening today instead. If a riot is special, I mean, there are lots of them in Sweden now. Maybe not one every day, but it's not really special that, that either. That's, that's the sad part of this. Uh, a friend of mine uh, just wrote in a private conversation that Sweden is ready to burst. He is right about that. Sweden needs, first of all, Sweden needs an open debate about what's going on. The facts need to be on the table. You can't have Swedish media and Swedish politicians denying the situation and then complaining about people getting the information from alternative media. Where else are they supposed to get the information? Yeah, some of the information you can actually get by reading foreign media, by reading Norwegian or Danish or British newspapers, things that they don't report in Sweden. But anyway, Sweden needs an open debate and Sweden needs that debate now, and the facts need to be on the table. Also, this behavior, this, uh, this behavior cannot be tolerated anymore. The Swedish police, police needs to, to be given the power to do something about this. And if they need help, send in the military to t take care of this. I mean, this can't go on. And uh, if this isn't stopped, what is going to happen? I mean, for instance, there is this uh, thing in Sweden called Code 291. Code 291 means that the police are not to report the, or are not to comment in media when, uh, when migrants are involved in criminal acts. And uh, that's why in Swedish newspapers they almost never write who is doing anything. I mean, they can report on crime, but they, they won't give you, they won't tell you what the criminal looks like because that might be racist. Because if they write that the person has dark skin or looks or has Arabic features or something, or, or that the person spoke, uh, well, what do I know, Somali, Persian, Arabic, Turkish, whatever, they can't write that because, uh, because that's considered racist. How can facts be racist? Facts are facts. I mean, if it's relevant, then I would say that Given how Sweden has changed in just one generation, I remember my childhood. Sweden was a safe, a little dull, but safe country. Things like this didn't happen. 
And the, I mean, the only immigrant, immigrant crime you had were, were were people fighting in uh, were people fighting to get in in some pub or something. I mean, seriously. But then, after 1990, Sweden had a large influx of immigrants, Muslims, non-Europeans, non-Westerners, and I'm sorry, but most of them are people who really can't assimilate in a Western country. And, uh, and, and we see the results of that now. So please, this has to be dealt with now. Because I fear what could happen in Sweden if they keep on denying this, keep on sweeping things under a rug until the Swedes really finally one day says that enough is enough. I don't even want to think about what could happen then. Well, anyway, that's, I mean, there's not very much information about this yet. Maybe they will get, maybe I will get more information later and, and I will be able to comment, comment on this again. But this is what I have to say about it right now. Uh, I have received some funds from a viewer and I would like to thank my sponsor. And if you like my channel, if you like this channel, Please like my videos, please share my videos on social media, please comment, please subscribe. And also you could, uh, you could support my channel through PayPal and through Patreon. And I will include the necessary links in the box below together with other necessary links. This is a Sweet Speaks. Have a nice day.